be more from the harpist later. When we come back, the non-stop oldies chosen by Richard Hawthorne in Brighton. BBC News at three o'clock. This is Lisa Costello. Sir Keir Starmer has accused Boris Johnson of failing to help people with the rising cost of living after inflation hit a 40-year high of 9%. The Prime Minister told the Commons he would look at all the measures needed to support families struggling to pay their bills. Labour want the government to hold an emergency budget and bring in a windfall tax on energy companies. The Conservative backbencher Robert Halfen agrees it's time for a one-off tax on oil and gas firms. I welcome that at least the government now are considering the windfall tax, but they've got to do it. The oil companies have made £40 billion of profits. The chief executives are, I've described them as the oligarchs, the new oligarchs. They're earning multi-million pound salaries from the profit and getting multi-million pound bonuses. An unnamed Conservative MP arrested on suspicion of rape and sexual assault has been released on bail. The Speaker of the Commons, Sir Lindsay Hoyle, has confirmed that the male MP will not attend Parliament while police continue their investigation. But Labour's Jess Phillips says the rules aren't strong enough. The Speaker of the House of Commons can only ask this person not to come here. So you're asking somebody who's potentially being questioned of very serious criminal charges to act with honour. The system of honour in Parliament is at a, a sort of fault line, it seems, when just relying on people's good nature. It simply isn't good enough, is it? Russia says nearly 700 Ukrainian fighters have left the steelworks in the southern port of Mariupol in the past 24 hours, bringing the total since Monday to almost 1,000. In the capital, Kiev, a 21-year-old Russian soldier has pleaded guilty to shooting dead an unarmed Ukrainian civilian in the first war crimes trial of the conflict. The European Commission has outlined new plans to reduce its reliance on Russian fossil fuels and speed up the transition to green energy sources. The Commission's president, Ursula von der Leyen, said the proposals would cost more than £160 billion. On the supply side, it's of course diversifying away from Russia for fossil fuels and towards other reliable, trustworthy suppliers. And the most important part accelerating the clean energy transition, so massive investment in renewable energy. The High Court has ruled that the BBC can publish a story about a man it says exploited his status as an MI5 informant to abuse his partner. The corporation wanted to name the man, claiming he posed an ongoing threat to women. But an injunction will stay in place banning the BBC from identifying him. The BBC says the decision will still allow it to tell a story that is firmly in the public interest. Professor Sir Jonathan Van Tam has had to miss his knighthood ceremony after testing positive for COVID. He was due to be invested yesterday for his work during the pandemic after five years as Deputy Chief Medical Officer. BBC News is three minutes past three. Thank you. Listen live on the BBC Sounds app. Come the non-stops. 